Demi Lovato has been keeping busy amidst the pandemic, be it working on her new Fabletics line, being part of a Disney star sing-along special, or just spending time with her new boyfriend Max. Although the star has long resided in and still owns mansion in the Hollywood Hills, the house is somewhat of a bad omen, but I'll explain that a little later. Apparently now Demi is happy in a luxury LA sky rise, even though she's spending 35k on monthly rent. Demi Lovato is a singer, songwriter, actress and more who rose to prominence as a Disney star some years back. I'm sure all of you remember Camp Rock and Sonny with a chance. Just because you wish for something, doesn't make it so. Oh, Chad Dillon. <laughs> Time for talking is over. I must go. So run, run back to your show, put your sweet little dreams of peace to bed. Despite Demi's success, including all of her awards and best-selling albums, her personal issues also received plenty of media attention in response to which she published the book Staying Strong and released a YouTube doc about her life. As you probably know, she's an activist for several social causes too. So yes, Demi has had some personal struggles leading up to an overdose in 2018 which put her in the hospital. To start her road to recovery, Demi spent time in a rehab facility and she said in many ways that this whole self-isolation feels a lot like rehab too. I mean, obviously you don't have the same look luxuries there, but I can understand that. These days, Demi has been staying strong and sober, working on new projects while setting a positive image for her fans and individuals alike. She's also amassed quite the fortune, and as of this year, her estimated net worth is $33 million. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where former Disney star Demi Lovato calls home, including her posh rental condo in LA, and the Hollywood mansion she's been trying to sell for quite some time now. You guys requested a vid on Demi's place, and you requested some Disney star homes, so I hope this counts. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Selena Gomez's brand new Encino Mansion and Adele's and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Demi owns a mansion in the Hollywood Hills, but you might be surprised to know this isn't where she's actually living. Despite her fortune, she's currently renting, but let's look at this place first. The former Disney star relisted her contemporary home of four years on the market for the second time just a few months ago in February 2020. It had been almost a year since the house was last listed, and this time it was up for over $8.9 million. Records show Demi paid $8.3 million for it back in 2016. If you're wondering why she wants to unload the property, it's because it has a little bit of a bad history. Demi first put it on the market just months after her overdose occurred there and apparently she never returned. Paramedics were called to this home in summer of 2018 after her reported overdose from oxycodone laced with fentanyl. Demi did have issues with the home since she bought it as well, like back in 2017 when it was deemed unsafe for entry after damage from a mudslide. Although the home is gorgeous, it was clearly time for Demi to move on. Her previous mansion sits on over an acre of land perched hillside above Laurel Canyon and the iconic Chateau Marmont Hotel. Being in the Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles of course, the areas full of elite neighbors, and Emmy's home was located behind private gates. Inside, the house spans 5,644 square feet of living space over three stories with four beds and seven baths. The home has a mostly crisp white interior throughout as well as floor to ceiling windows letting in the LA sunshine. The open plan layout features Fleetwood pocket doors as well and at least one gas fireplace. Living spaces fill out the lowest level of the home. There's a double height living room which has a terrace looking over the hills. On the ground floor, there's also a minimalist living room which opens up to a courtyard through floor to ceiling glass doors. There's also a dining room and of course a state-of-the-art kitchen. Demi's kitchen here has a stainless steel appliances, white marble countertops, and a square breakfast island as well as direct access to the backyard. The second story holds most of the bedrooms and seven bathrooms including what used to be Demi's impressive master suite. In the master bedroom there was a sitting room as well as not one but two walk-in closets and the attached marble bath had a spa style tub. The upper club level of the house acts as a stylish lounge space with a media room with a pool table and a large built-in marble bar. And that's not all. This space leads to what you call the Sky Lounge Terrace, which is essentially a rooftop patio with views overlooking the LA skyline. On the grounds of Demi's Hollywood Hills Mansion, the backyard offers an outdoor dining area, a grill, and a gazebo. Not to mention there's a zero-edge infinity pool and plenty of space to lounge. There are many features of our home in the hills that make it attractive to potential buyers, like the fact that it's located at the end of a quiet road, offering an escape from the excitement of Sunset Strip as per the listing. Of course, you'll also get sweeping city and canyon views of 
of Los Angeles from essentially anywhere on the property. Prior to listing the mansion for sale, Demi was renting it out to someone, which is probably why she didn't put it on the market sooner. If you're wondering where Demi is living these days, it was reported last year that she moved into a high-rise condominium in LA, which cost her a massive $35,000 per month to rent. Rising 40 stories high, 10,000 was developed by Crescent Heights to embody the quintessential LA lifestyle. One where the indoor and outdoor are seamlessly and elegantly intertwined. Designed by Handel Architects, 10,000 offers over 75,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor amenities, which include a screening room, a game room, a 75 foot indoor lap pool, exercise studios, tennis courts, and a one acre private park. She's recently shared videos which we can see the background of her place a little bit, like this one during quarantine. We can see that Demi has a huge living room with floor to ceiling windows, cream decor and artwork. Of course, the main focus from her living quarters has got to be that impressive view. You can see the LA skyline, Hollywood Hills and the San Gabriel Mountains from whatever angle you're at. All we know about Demi's unit in the building is that she lives on the 22nd floor and whatever she chooses to show us. But the real focus here is why the star decided to spend 35k a month to live here. And let me tell you this building is one of a kind. The building Demi lives at is the 10,000 aka the 10k building, which is a 40 floor sky rise on the border of Beverly Hills and Century City on Santa Monica Boulevard. Here, rent starts at 10k going up to as much as 65k per month. But why own a house when you can enjoy out of the world perks like a robot butler or a Rolls Royce that will drive you home after a night out? And that's just a taste of how Demi lives in her condo. On 10,000's website, they claim mornings are effortless thanks to features like an app based valet service and continental breakfast being available in the lounge, not to mention. As you drive away, you notice a freshly brewed espresso has been placed in your car, compliments of the barista. So this luxury residential tower Demi is living at is more of a four star prestige hotel experience than your average apartment complex. According to the developers, the 283 unit building got a wave of publicity in 2017 due to 2000 people on the wait list. Demi is only one of many well to do celebrity residents and everyone here is exclusive from LeBron James's business partner to Magic Johnson's Sun. But due to privacy, many neighbors want their location to be kept a secret. The apartments themselves come either furnished or unfurnished and range from one bedroom, two and a half bath residence with Bosch appliances for 10k per month to $65,000, 4,000 square foot penthouses with double terraces and private decks. Demi's place has got to be somewhere in between, but either way, all of the units have breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean to the hills and downtown LA. On the building's website, it also states, residents enjoy exclusive access to 75,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor amenities as well as an unprecedented array of hospitality style services and lifestyle enhancements provided by a house staff of 80. And they aren't exaggerating, the amenities at 10,000 are fit for a superstar to say the least. Here Demi is able to enjoy a mammoth sized 24 hour gym and not one but two pools, a 75 foot indoor lap pool and an elaborate outdoor swimmer lined with cabanas. Clearly Demi likes hanging out at the second one. Other perks in Demi's building include a complimentary daily breakfast if you want as well as lunch and dinner provided at extra cost. There are indoor and outdoor movie theaters, a tennis court, a 2,000 square foot dog run, a games room with a wet bar, a kids studio and even a sprawling one acre private park. The in-house Rolls Royce Phantom chauffeurs residents when they want on shopping trips for Rodeo Drive or picking them up from a night out. Tenants can also use that app based valet service for their own cars to get a gas fill up or have the car detailed before they take it out. The 80 person staff is there to fulfill residents every wish from dry cleaning to booking boat Botox appointments, and when humans aren't enough, there's a robot named Charlie that delivers meals, packages, and more. But he still suffers from the occasional glitch. Finally, Demi's super elite apartment building has some tight security. Of course, people with this kind of fame and fortune love and need their privacy, and for that reason, there's a 24 hour patrol, destination elevators that only go to approved floors, and even back entrances for certain residents. All that considered, I think we can understand why Demi isn't missing mansion living. I mean, she has all of that at her fingertips. Who wouldn't want that? So now, we've seen where former Disney star Demi Lovato calls home and it's a little different from the homes we usually look at on this channel, I gotta say. At first I wondered how on earth someone would want to pay 35 grand a month for a measly condo, but after seeing what 10,000 is all about, I get it. Demi had a beautiful home in the Hollywood Hills prior to her move and time in rehab, but I can understand why she's putting the past behind her and selling the place. She clearly loves her Century City sky rise and all the perks that come with living there. What did you guys think about her homes, or from what we could see anyways? Would you rather live in that crazy luxury building? or her old mansion. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!